I'm gonna show you how to reuse any DVR hard drive. Like if it's not activated, and you just slide in your own computer. Because right now, this is a, I got one terabyte hard drive. Let me focus a little bit. That's a one terabyte hard drive, and that's a two terabyte hard drive. I just picked these up, but they are not um, activated within Windows. So I'm gonna show you how to activate them using this software called Genome Partition Editor. And it pretty much what it does is like a hard drive utility. And it's, it's like a BIOS for hard drives. So I'm gonna show you how to activate it. First you go to the second settings. So once you click on that second option, I'm gonna click on it. Then you hit the second option right here. Then you select your language. Right now I am English, so let's see what can I find English. So 33. So I'm gonna type in 33. 44 and enter and then it's gonna ask you to so I'm gonna just go with the first option zero so hit zero that should give us the graphics because the other option I think it is command prompt so I think that screen had a little bit more info. Let's see if I could zoom in a little bit more. So from here, I'm gonna see the hard drives that I just got. So the ones I just got is a two terabyte and a one terabyte. So I think it's the the second one unknown. Usually it'd be the unknown ones. That's when the system haven't been configured. So I see the unknown 1.8 terabyte, which means two terabytes. And I see, let's see, looking for the one terabyte. Right now I can't find a one terabyte. Now sometimes the one terabyte is split it up. So it's split it up to a Linux. So I know I haven't had no Linux systems on my drive and most likely you won't have no Linux because you'll most likely be using Windows. So I know it's the Linux, you've been split it up, Linux and I'm trying to find a main spot for it. So my mistake. So this all is one drive. All those are partitions in that one drive. I've done this before, but I'm not as a veteran on doing this. So you could pick which drive you want. If I get my mouse configured. So I got the mouse back. So right here you can pick which drive. So that's right now I'm in a two terabyte drive. I could go down to the one terabyte. Don't need that one. Need this one. So this is the other one, tail right? So it's completely clear. I think this is my main drive. See, primary NTFS. That's the difference. So from here, I'm just going to click on this, go back to the one terabyte, and I'm going to format all of this, especially this one, format to NTFS, can I find it, right here, and yeah, see, format that to NTFS. Like that, and Ash is gonna do just the main drive. But I'm gonna do that one, leave that one right there. This one, NTFS because I don't want to accidentally delete some of the drive data that automatic come on the drive. I'm gonna go. Clear all of these. I'm just gonna format that one. That way, there's usually put the movies and TV shows on that partition. So I'm just gonna format that one. But that would give me the largest 1.8 terabytes, meaning 
1,800 uh, gigabytes. So I'm gonna do that. Come over here. Find out one terabyte. It's this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna format that to MTFS, and that should be good to go. So I'm gonna just format those. And once that done, I'm gonna hit OK. Let's see with that. Yes. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna. It's gonna format that. And say it's completed. So once I turn the computer on, those should be I have an extra hard drive for 1.8 terabytes and a 915 gigabytes. So now it's updating. It's gonna show us yep, it's activated. Only use 1.21 megabytes. And let's see, let's take that one. Good to go. So I'm gonna turn this off, S it. Or you could just turn it off the back computer. So it looks like it takes some time to load up. So now it's saying shut down, shut down. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead plug up my main hard drive. So it's booting back up. I might have to change it because I don't think I changed it back in the BIOS. We do F2. So I'm gonna go back to my switch it back to my main boot drive instead of the flash drive. So change it back to my main boot drive and it's oh, don't even see up here. So I'm gonna just unplug my that flash drive. So let's go to this boot. Let's look at my hard drive options. So this is my main hard drive, STS fifty fourth. So I need to put that to boot option. I'm trying to hold the computer, the mouse, this keyboard, and be connected to this computer, this laptop. So I'm gonna let this boot up, even though it boots pretty quickly. I had a bigger TV if you didn't, if you saw some of my old videos, but that one broke. So I had to replace the real small one real quick. The secondary monitor. So now it's telling me to format one of this within Windows. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel it for now. So I can take a look at it. So once Windows load up, it should look something like this. So those are the hard drives. This is G and M. So you see it's 1.7 terabytes and 915 gigabytes. So you just got pretty much three terabytes for like a bargain price out of the DVRs that be found at thrift stores or found in a trash can or wherever you found them at. But I got mine for like $5. So three terabytes for five dollars, good deal.
So, but we're not done yet. Even though it says usable, you should still do a format within Windows. Go to disk management. And it's still popping up on that screen. And down here. I'm not sure which one to use as a main screen, but I'll figure that out later. Doesn't really matter. So expand this. Sometimes it takes a little time to load up. So it's showing me all the other partitions on that hard drive since I formatted the other one. So let's see. Everything looks kind of good. So, so far, pretty much don't have to do nothing else more. I'm going to format it, but I didn't call it a day. So, call it storage. I'm going to call this my movie storage or backup something. Oh, game storage. I'm going to say game storage. Game storage. So once I reformatted both of those storage, M and G. So movie storage and game storage. And this is what it should look like on the screen. So both of them now usable. And should be healthy for a while. So that's how you make a good storage. Like and subscribe. And good luck on bargain hunting.